Brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, I trust all of you are well and good today. Well, last week we meditated on a subject about resolutions. Well, I trust all of you have been pondering on that and also look back at your own life about the many resolutions that you yourself have made and you may even have re looked at it whether are they reliable, justifiable or achievable goals, isn't it? Yes. Sometimes we make resolutions that are not achievable. Yes. They may be just uh, a wish, yes. but you don't put your heart and soul yes. to achieve the target, mm. achieve the goal, right? Yes. Has this happened in your life before? Yes, many things. Mm. Each year, we uh, I used to take new things to resolution, but I will not keep up. Mm. Why? I will not focus on this on those things. I'll mm. forget. You'll forget. Yes, but this new year I made decision. I should not forget. That's one focus. I must die to self. Okay. Has this something happened like this in your life before? Yes, and forgetting resolutions. Many times, even I have took resolutions like I should not. Yeah, forget, forget the resolution. resolution. Ah. <laughs> a lot of people have taken resolution like that. I resolute that I will not forget my resolution. Hmm. But you have forgotten. Yes, thank you. What about you, Satya? I, me too will be doing like that only mm. because I, I couldn't be able to um, proceed it for a few long time. Mm. I just forgot and forgot and missing and everything. No? Mm. So I just, uh, I, I thought that I must pull myself into something where it should never uh, leave me to not do that. Right. What about Viral? It has happened to me as well. Mm. In what way? Uh, I would think that uh, be, even before going to school or colleges, I should read at least four uh, chapters of okay. the Bible. Mm. That would only last for one month. Mm. Then I would miserably fail in doing that. Because you were busy. Also or what that, reason? Um, maybe I would I would have taken up that day late mm. because I'm running late. I would fail doing that. Right, 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 right. So after that, you'll feel miserable. Yes, right? throughout the day. Ah, that reminds me. During my early years of seeking God, it was in the year 1979. My pastor was a very godly man, so he used to teach us how to spend time with God. He said, you must spend time talking with God, prayer life and all that. So, I learned that. Then I met another man of God. Now, this was in 83. So, this man of God had marvelous work with God and had a very intimate relationship with God. He has many heavenly experiences. At the same time, he also had a big public ministry. Many signs, miracles, takes place in his ministry. But the most remarkable thing about him is his personal relationship with God. Very intimate. Mm -hmm. So he used to share, he will get up at 2 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the morning to pray. So that touched me. And I wanted to imitate that. So I made a resolution or a determination that I should also get up at that time to pray. So I'll set the alarm. When you set an alarm, does the alarm does its job? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes. Sir. Does the alarm do its job? Yes. Sir. Yes. Um, right. Yes. But the alarm I've noticed all these years, it faithfully, dutifully does its job. Okay. Right. You set at two o'clock, it will ring at two o'clock. Mm. You set at three o'clock, it rings at three o'clock. Right. Yes. So I will get up 
Well, look at the time. <laughs> Tap on the alarm. I'll go back to sleep. And then when I get up in the morning, I say, "Oh my God, yes. I must <laughs> it. Lord, please forgive me, Lord. Please forgive me, Lord. I'll repent a hundred times." So then I'll make a resolution. Tomorrow, tomorrow I must get up. All right. So tomorrow, same thing happens. Over a period of time, it has happened every day, and I'll regret and regret. Oh Lord, what is this, Lord? What is this, Lord? Please help me. So one day, after seven days, I met. I met a strong, firm decision. I cannot go on like that. That was a turning point, no? Mm. I met a firm decision. It cannot go on like this. I must do something. So that's that was the breakthrough I got. Okay. So that on the seventh day, when I when the alarm rang, I jump up to my feet. Okay. So I went to the toilet, wash my face because if you will just kneel down, mm. what will happen next? Fall asleep. Yes. <laughs> you will go to the meditative deep <laughs> meditative <laughs> mood. Mm. Yeah. I'm sure you all have experienced yes. that, right? Yes. Deep meditation, right? And when you go into deep meditation, you will hear the roaring of lion, <laughs> thunder, everything, isn't it? Yes. yes. So, I went and washed my face. After washing my face, uh, instead of sitting down for prayer, because a danger is there, so I knelt down. Okay. So I knelt down for one hour, two to three. I'll just worship the Lord. Then the next hour, I read the Bible. Because I set the time is one hour. So during the one hour, how many chapters I can read? I read. Okay. Then the next one hour, I'll just open my heart and talk to God. Then I spend some time waiting. So this was how I met uh, the habit of building up a relationship with God. Mm. But it came about with a firm commitment, decision, yes. a firm decision. Mm. All right. Okay. Now the small talks are over. Okay. So do you all remember what we discussed last week? About the Sabbath day. Sabbath day, mm. right? Okay. Yes. What exactly did we discuss about the seventh day? How God punished them for seventy years and kept them in exile for, mm. in captivity. Captivity. So why were they punished for seventy years? What mistake did they do? They, they disobeyed Sabbat, following Sabbat, observing Sabbat. They disobeyed God for not observing the Sabbath of the land. Mm. Okay. That's the thing. Mm. That's the key thing. Yes. Mm. The Sabbath of the land. Mm. So, because they failed for 70 years, they were made to be slaves or they were scattered by God. Mm. So, a foreign enemy came and arrested them, mm. captured them, burned Jerusalem to ashes yes. and then destroyed the walls of Jerusalem mm -hmm. and caught all these people. Mm. They also, they were spending 70 years in captivity. Right? Now, when you are in captivity for 70 years, you are not in your own house. Right? Uh, are you the first child in your family? No. Then what, you are number what? Number four, actually. Number four. And are you the first child or the last child? Last child. Last child. What about you? Last. Last child. What about you? I'm first. You are first. And you? I'm second. You are second, okay. So I think I should address my question to you and to you. <laughs> last, right? Yes, sir. Last, okay. As a last child, what are the benefits in the family? Everyone will come for my support. Mm. And there will know she is a child. She would. Forever you're a child. Mm. Yes. Right? Yes. And? Lots of pampering. Yes. Oh, yes. Right? Too much of pampering. Yes. Whatever we ask, they'll, they'll get it. Right? right? Yes. So too much of pampering, you all will get for being the last child. Yes. Mm. So being a pampered child, will you become a spoiled kid or a well-behaved kid? Spoiled kid. Spoiled, kit. spoiled kid. So you are yes. spoiled kid. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> 
So by that we know she's a spoiled kid. <laughs> what about you? No, I'm not. You were not a spoiled no. kid. So no matter all that tension you got, all the pampering you got, you were not spoiled. Because uh, both my sibling also got the same attention. Ah. We got equal treatment. There was no division in. Though you were a Dalas yes. kid. Yes. Okay. Now these Israelites, in seventy years of captivity. Do you think you would have changed them? They were deprived of all their okay. What I really wanted to know is so after getting all the tension in your family, hmm? so you were like a queen, no? Right? Mm. You were like a queen in your house. She was a queen in the house. Now you go into a place where you are like a slave. How will you feel? How will you feel? Really, my heart will. Nobody not cares get... for you. Nobody talks to you. Nobody will not. There's no one to even ask you. How are you doing? Have you had your food? Nobody asks you. How will you feel? My heart will be very depressed. Right. I cannot adjust. And you'll cry every day. Yes. Won't yes. you do that? My entire self would wrench in pain. Right. You'll be crushed, no? Yes. You'll be crushed. Even your self-esteem yes. Yes. will be crushed. Your self-image, yes. your self-confidence, everything about yourself will be crushed, isn't it? Yes. So you would think that after spending seventy years in captivity like that, would have crushed them, caused their self to die, and changed them, right? Because even in the captivity, God sent prophets. Mm-hmm. To talk to the children of Israel, mm-hmm. Daniel was there, Nehemiah was there, mm-hmm. Ezekiel was there, Ezra was there, and even the prophet Jeremiah mm-hmm. will every now and then send messages to them. Mm-hmm. Yes. He did not go to captivity, no. He yeah. stayed in Jerusalem, but he will send messages and prophesied. Mm-hmm. But they did not change. Amazing. How many times you have repented in your own life only to make the same mistakes again and again? Countless. Countless, right? Did your parents hate you for that? No, never. No. What about your best friend? No. No. What about in your family? They hated you? No. Did they ask you to pack your bag and go? No, they loved me very much after that. Right? And I'm sure the same for you. Yes, sir. And the same for yes, you. Yes, sure. Right? So even after seventy years of captivity, it greatly grieved the Lord God that they would not repent, even though He wooed them mm-hmm. to Himself. They would still reject and go their own backward ways. Yes. So, what should God do? Question mark. Right. Please have the snacks, yes. kids. Solve for you all. Thank all you. right. So God tried to talk to them, and uh, it seems that it was going to deaf ears. So finally, the prophet Daniel, he read the prophecies of Jeremiah, mm-hmm. and he found the seventy years captivity. So you read this in Daniel chapter nine, okay. and in chapter ten. So he began to fast and pray. He cried to God, Lord, how long, my Lord? Because this was near the end of the seventy years. Mm-hmm. Now the seventieth year is going to fulfill. Mm-hmm. So he cried and he prayed. He fasted and he prayed. Then an angel came. So bringing good news, right? Now your time of deliverance has come, mm-hmm. isn't it? Mm-hmm. But sadly, instead of bringing that news, mm-hmm. the angel said, now. You will go into another seventy times seven years of captivity. Mm. So seventy times seven. She is a mathematician, no? Yes. You doctor. should ask the mathematician. Seventy <laughs> times seven. How many? Four hundred and ninety years. Four hundred and ninety years of another punishment. Why? Why, Beryl? Tell me why. Still, their heart was not in the line of obedience. 
so that's the answer no that's the answer right yes. so 70 years mm. did not change them they, could, they were not willing to live, change their lifestyle return back to god mm. even after 70 years of captivity so the lord said all right go go for another now seven times the punishment do you remember when peter asked the lord jesus a question how many times shall i forgive my neighbor and what did the lord said 70 times 70 times 7 seven. so that seems to be a heavenly formula mm yes 70 times 7 is a, mm. a count a number in heaven mm. now we see in the old testament mm-hmm. and we see in the new same testament, the new testament. Mm-hmm. same pattern yes. right yes mm. so 70 times 7 years 490 years they were scattered mm. although they returned back yet the promise was delayed for 490 years mm. so when you make a resolution you should keep the resolution yes but yet yet god says when you return back to me turn back to me mm. so you need to put things right in your life isn't it yes uncle so this is what we read in ezekiel chapter 45 so ezekiel 45 we read about restoration mm. of the temple of god about their lifestyle their relationship with god mm-hmm. so god tells them okay now you built a sanctuary you built a temple mm-hmm. then how the land should be organized among the 12 tribes and then he also say now you come back to me and do what you are supposed to do mm-hmm. so we read in verse 20 and in the seventh day of the month everyone that us goes away for him that is simple so shall you reconcile the house right reconcile the house be reconciled with god with god so being reconciled means what now look at verse 9 and 10 thus says the lord god enough o princes of israel remove violence and plundering execute justice and righteousness and stop dispossessing my people says the lord god you shall have honest scales and honest epha and an honest bath so in verse 9 you read about removing violence so this tells us they were very violent people mm. yes okay. rebellious people yes. right and they were not doing works of justice Righteous. and righteousness, righteousness. so god tells them come back turn away from turn. all this and verse 10 balances mm. so in business dealings be honest mm. upright integrate today so much of cheating is going on in business yes. no yes sir right in the olden days when they used balances right mm-hmm. they'll carry weight mm. so it is 1 kg weight they'll add something mm-hmm. make it 2 kg yes mm. or 1 kg 1.1 kg or 1.2 kg so you are paying for 1 kg but you are only getting 800 grams yes mm-hmm. of worth of rice or sugar mm. so that's how they cheat with the balances mm. and so now god said be righteous be honest 1 kg let it be 1 kg so be honest, honest. so today we don't use balances right Mm-hmm. so how can you be honest in your life or in your career satya without showing any partiality to the peoples mm. in my team members and i should treat them everyone equally mm. i should not uh, show any partial to them correct that's arul you should be true enough in the work which has been given mm. to us right i need to check my waves or the or the actions i'm doing every day and also the what god wants me to do so both the things i need to check every day mm. whether it's balancing or myself is uh, upright or mm. so i need to check every day what is your highest qualification phd wow you also a doctor yes. so now yes. we have two doctors <laughs> i am sitting between two doctors wow okay doctor sorry i call you barrel earlier no 
it's not a problem. Ah, so, how can you practice this in your career or in your life? So, only when my heart is happy and joy, I can be honest. So, mm. it's vice versa. When I'm honest, I'm my heart becomes... So, which should be first? Honesty or joy? Honest. Together. Mm. Joy is... Isn't joy the after effect of uh, upright life? Yes. Hmm? One is an... Uh, an is a birth of it's a, something. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. Out, outcome. Yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. Right? Joy. So, being honest makes you feel happy. Yes. I'm honest. People who commit robbery are also joyful. <laughs> They're very happy they are stealing. For mm. the what? Not for the Lord. No, for <laughs> what they got. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even when they are scheming, they are very joyfully scheming. Yes. Right? Yes. So, the primary is to be honest. Right? Yes. So, firstly, we need to be honest and upright. Right. Mm. Be impartial. So, this is what God seeks. And then, this is relationship between man to man. Right? Now, then in verse 20 and verse 21. And so you shall do on the seventh day of the month for everyone who has sinned unintentionally or in ignorance. Thus you shall make atonement for the temple. Mm. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, you shall observe the Passover. A feast of seven days, unleavened bread shall be eaten. So this is a very important feast mm. that the Lord had told the children of Israel to celebrate. So there, in verse 21 we read about one feast. And then look at verse 25. In the seventh month, on the fifteenth day of the month, at the feast, he shall do likewise for seven days, according to the sin offering, the burnt offering, the grain offering, and the oil. So, this, this is the feast of the tabernacles. So, first the Passover, feast of next is the feast of feast tabernacles. tabernacles. So, these are the only two feasts that is celebrated for seven days. Mm. So, the Lord is telling them, come back to my relationship. So, the feast is relationship with God. Mm -hmm. The first part was relationship with men. Mm -hmm. Does this remind you of uh, something the Lord Jesus said? Let me give you a clue for you all to think. One is towards men. The other is towards God. The two commandments. What is it? Love your neighbor as as you love yourself, mm. and love God with all of your heart and soul and mind. Amen. Right? The Lord Jesus said, "These are the two greatest commandments: commandments. love the Lord your God with, with all, all your heart, with all your soul, with all your, with all your mind, and all with all your strength, strength. and your neighbor as, as yourself. You These are the two." greatest commandments mm. and two resolutions we need to keep today for mm. this year. Come back to the basics, mm -hmm. the base foundation of our relationship with God. God. Mm. Love. Love. Yes. Loving the Lord God with all your heart, yeah. mm -hmm. with all your soul, so, all with your all mind. that is within you. Mm. Tell me in one sentence what does that mean? Not depending on myself and giving wholly, devoting my everything, my thoughts, my everything. Okay, are you married? No. No. Are you married? No. No. The answer should be not yet. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. yes. No means no forever. No. Isn't not it? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. What about you? I am married. Okay, you are married. So, my qu you are the right person, I should ask the question. So, now you are married. Do you love your wife? Yes, sir. How many percentage? Out of 100, how many? No, with my whole heart. Now you have two kids, no? Yes, sir. Do you know he got twins? Yes. yes. Yeah, lovely boys, no? Yes. Two cute boys. Yes. So, you sh shouldn't you divide your love between your wife and your sons? No, uncle. No? No. When I, with my wife, I love her. Uh -huh. When I, with my kids, I love them. With so, my whole heart. 
kids how many percent percentage out of 100 how many to, uh, for the kids uh, equal sharing means to my wife and to my children no your wife for 100% no for your kids how many then 100% 100% yes uncle okay is that a right answer or wrong answer we should ask the mathematician <laughs> right answer or wrong answer cannot say wrong answer but 50 50 can be total 100 50 is for wife. that is limitless mm he gives what his wife deserves and the the same deserving he also give to his kids so which means he is the right that's the right answer <sighs> maybe that indeed is the right answer you should give all your love to your wife and give all your love to your children and what if somebody comes in between will you have a divided heart no uncle nothing nothing should come between in the same way we should love god mm-hmm. just like that just like he said no 100% to my family so you give your 100% love to the lord god not to church 50% to god 50% mm-hmm. so let it be your resolution this year yes yes, yes sir and we'll come back to the basic yes sir and this is the message to the church in ephesus mm-hmm. come back to your first love yes, sir. right mm-hmm. So what would you do come back to your first love Amen Amen So write to me your comments what do you think about all this and your resolutions I will be waiting for your letters God bless you all